Hi folks, Rudy at Clodden Painting Studio here. I've seen that Two Fat Lardies are reducing a new rule set called What a Cowboy, and that's inspired me to have a dip in the lead pile um, and paint up this uh, Old West Reverend um, from Foundry. Let's paint the cowboy's skin with some Army Painter tanned flesh. Give his trousers a base coat of Vallejo neutral grey. This is some Vallejo saddle brown to pick out his waistcoat. This is Vallejo Chocolate Brown. I'm going to try and keep that off the hat band. The face is going to be a focal point on the model, so the skin's going to get an extra bit of attention with an additional layer. Um, this is a mix of Army Painter Barbarian Flesh uh, with the tanned flesh that's used for the base coat. Just trying to avoid the recesses with this. I want a, a lightly coloured duster, so I'm using Vallejo Iraqi sand for the base coat. I'm going to wait for that first coat to dry. I'll probably apply a second coat to the duster where it's a bit uneven. The casing for the lever action rifle we're doing with some Coat Arms uh, Rat Brown. So I say casing, I meant stock. Not much of his hair to be seen. Um, I'm using German Camo Black Brown as the base colour there. His boots and belts I'm doing with uh, Games Workshop Contrast Black Templar. Um, I've swapped to an old cheapy brush. Um, I feel that contrast paints ruin uh, sable brushes that I've been using so far. It soaks right into the ferrule without a moment's thought and uh, dries in there, flaying out the bristles. So my cheap brush from a pack of goodness knows how many out of a craft store will do fine for contrast paints and uh, metallics. Metallics are good at ruining nice brushes as well with their big metallic flakes. A little bit of Vallejo off-white uh, for his shirt. Use that on the hat band as well. I'm using some Army Painter Gun Metal to pick out all the metal parts of the gun and buttons and buckles. I'm applying some washes to the model. Now they're going to be different depending on what area of the model is getting the shading applied. Um, the skin, in order to help uh, define the depth, I've got some Army Painter Flesh Wash and um, some Army Painter Quick Shade Medium. That's a one to one ratio. Um, and I have a dash of a purple wash from Citadel in there as well. I'm 
when using multiple washes there is a risk um, that they will run into each other and sort of draw them onto different areas um, so there'll be a bit of waiting between each colour for things to dry. You can of course just use one colour as an all over wash and usually a, a brown wash will shade most things acceptably if you want to speed up the process. I now have some Army Painter Dark Tone again a, a one to one ratio with quick shade mixing medium to thin it out a bit and I'm going to apply this to everything except the duster and the skin that we've already done The final bit of washing then is the overcoat and this is Army Painter Soft Tone. Again diluted uh, one to one with the quick shade mixing medium. Once this is all dry we'll begin the highlighting process. So washes have dried looks pretty good. Um, if you wanted to get it straight on the tabletop you could certainly go ahead. Um, I'm gonna do some highlighting. The initial highlight is going to be reapplying um, the base colors to um, edges of folds and raised areas. A um, couple of exceptions. I won't do that for the metal work. I will just go straight to a highlight color and the Skin will have um, that mix layer um, of tanned flesh and barbarian flesh. But I don't think you need to see me reapply all these colours. So I'll come back when the first layer of highlights has been done. So not looking too bad at all after doing some very basic highlights there. And there was one other exception that I forgot about is the, the black. Um, you can't really contrast your I can't really highlight contrast paints with the, the base colour again. So going straight to the highlight colour. I'm going for a rather sharp highlight, thin brush. And this is some Army Painter Wolf Grey. The contrast paint has already done a bit of highlighting um, and shading for you. So a really sharp highlight can look quite good. Okay, so sharp highlights are the order of the day. For the skin I've got some um, Army Painter Barbarian Flesh. Do knuckles and fingertips. And also nose, cheekbones and chin. Thin highlights on the edge of the hat are done with Vallejo Flat Earth. The extreme highlights on the waistcoat are done with the tanned flesh. And this is light grey for the trousers. This is Vallejo Game Colour Bone White. And it's doing an extreme highlight on the edges of the coat. This is Vallejo Light Brown. And it has a little highlight and a bit of a wood grain effect.
You might have noticed that the eyes have been painted in. I did a dot of off-white <clears throat> um, and then used my Stateler pigment liner 0 0.05 millimeter to dot the pupils in. The last detail I'm going to add is uh, to the face is a bit of um, stubble. So I've thinned down some Army Painter Field Grey with some water and we'll glaze that on over the chin. It's going on very thin. A couple of coats probably needed to get that effect finalised. Um, and while that first layer is drying, we'll highlight the metals up um, with some Army Painter Plate Mail Metal. So a really old, ruined uh, character brush, I think, from Army Painter. Um, but it's got a thin point now, and that's perfect for adding little highlights without sacrificing a better quality brush. So all that remains to do now is to apply a bit of varnish and finish this base off. And here's a look at the finished model. I think it's turned out quite well and some minor highlights on the edges with some um, light colours really help uh, bring them to life. Uh, it's a bit of Mediterranean soil from Geek Gaming Scenics on the base. And I'll be trying to paint up some more of these Old West types um, over the next wee while. And maybe um, I will finally uh, get a, a game of cowboys sometime soon. Bye for now.